Hi, I'm Camille. And I'm Erin from Opus Art Supplies. Today you'll discover the versatility of resin and how you can use it as a stunning and archival top coat for your artwork, or as an art medium all on its own. Resin acts as a strong, glass-like coating that you can use as a sealant in a wide variety of artworks. Its eye-catching gloss coating is unmatched by acrylic or varnish and it enhances your colors while providing an even texture. We want to inspire you and provide step-by-step -step instructions so you can launch straight into your own creative practice. The first method for applying resin is straight coating. Straight coating involves pouring resin on top of the artwork so it can act as a protective finish. Today we are using Mastercast resin for our top coat. Mastercast is a two-part epoxy. Part one is resin and part two is the hardener. So we're going to be using four ounces of hardener and four ounces of resin. Mastercast is a fully archival resin that's very easy to use. It's certified non-toxic, contains no VOCs or fumes, and provides UV protection for your artwork. All right, so after we've measured both parts of the epoxy, we're going to mix it into one container, and we mix it for approximately three minutes. So now that the resin is fully mixed, we can apply it to the artwork. We have about seven minutes before it starts to tack up. You'll want to work on a level surface when doing your resin pours. Now I'm going to spread the resin to the edges so that the surface is fully coated. While resin has self-leveling properties, we still want to make sure we get an even coverage and help it to the edges of the artwork. I'm being careful not to push it over the edge so that we don't get drips. If you're near the edge, you can scrape it clean and it will stop the resin from pooling over the sides. It's good to check for any parts that might have been missed and easy to see if you are at eye level. You can sometimes get bubbles in your resin surface, but a lot of them will pop on their own. And if you do have some after you're finished spreading the resin, you can pop them with a torch or with a pin. <laughs> you want to move quickly so it doesn't burn the surface of the resin. Generally speaking, this resin will take about 10 minutes to tack up, five hours to touch dry, and about 24 hours to fully cure. The next technique we're going to show you is layering with resin. Layering involves working between layers of resin to create depth. We've prepared these panels and stages to show you the different layers of resin and paint that we've added. To start with, we're going to use an Opus Exhibition cradled wood panel and coat it with one layer of Mastercast resin. I'm going to tape the sides of our panel so that the resin doesn't pour over the edge. Resin doesn't stick to clear scotch tape or packing tape, so it's a good choice for creating a dam. When you use tape as a dam, remember to burnish the edges so none of the resin leaks through. The first layer of resin is very much like the stray coat, and we've chosen to use the Mastercast resin because it dries faster than the art resin. Since we put tape on the sides, we can tip it to allow the resin to go to the edges. Generally speaking, you want to wait at least five hours in between your layers. For our second layer, we're going to paint an image using Opus Essential Fluid Acrylic Colors. I'm using scotch tape to tape out a mask for our design. Since the clear tape removes cleanly from the resin, it's a good one to use to get really crisp lines. Resin is really flexible for what you can use with it. You can use acrylic, oil, alcohol inks. You could also do resin over top of watercolor. Yeah, you can apply resin on top of almost any art form. Now we're ready for our next layer of acrylic. As you build up the layers of resin and paint, you'll start to notice shadows being cast on the wood background. And when you look at the edge of the panel, you can see the alternating layers of paint. For the final layer, I'm just going to add some more detail with the Molotov acrylic paint marker. It looks really cool with the shadow <gasps> underneath the helicopter. Oh yeah, you can see the shadow! <laughs> You're so excited there. <laughs> That's going in the video for sure. Now that we've shown you how to work with clear layers of resin, the next technique we're going to show you is how to do a colored resin pour. A colored resin pour involves mixing your resin with different dyes, powders, and pigments to create a fluid abstract resin pour. To create our colored resin pour, we're going to use art resin, an Opus Exhibition round cradled wood panel, as well as Illuminite dyes and golden fluid acrylic. Now that it's mixed, we can pour it into our cups. 
We're using Art Resin for this pour because it has a longer working time than the Mastercast, and we need that longer working time to mix our colors. Now we're going to add some Alumalite dye. You don't have to be exact with how much you add. Regardless of brand, we highly recommend that you use artist grade pigments and materials in your colored resin pours. This will give you more intense colors, cleaner color mixes, and a more reliable final product. Should we add some gold powder? Yeah. That's a genius idea. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to add some Perlex pigment to our gold color, just to give it a little more pop. So now I'm pouring the white resin on the panel, just a strip right here. Some of the colors are quite dark, so we've added white in between the colors. Once we swipe this with a palette knife, the colors will mix and the white will help give us some lighter colors. I could put some gold on both sides, maybe that would be mm, nice. Yeah. Okay. So now that our colors have been applied, we're going to take a palette knife and swipe across them to blend the colors and to drag the resin right to the edge. <laughs> I have it everywhere. <laughs> you can keep swiping the piece until you're happy with it or until it's tacky. As the resin sits, the colors will mix more and you'll get more variation. I find these take a little bit longer to develop the variations in the color, but you end up with a lot of kind of visual texture in the end. So we've pulled the colors over the edge a little bit here. You can either leave it as is or wait until it's dry and sand that extra resin off. It's pretty amazing that this has nothing added, no, nothing no added to it. Except Just yeah. resin, dye, and acrylic paint. The last technique we're going to show you is a Petri resin pour. A Petri resin pour is when you drop alcohol inks into a layer of wet resin. The name of this technique comes from pouring resin into a round mold, which looks like a petri dish. We're making a box from plexiglass and plastic econo spacers, so we can pour a thick layer of resin, drop alcohol inks into it, and then view it from the opposite side. The econo spacers are great to use because they have an adhesive side to them, so all you have to do is peel off the paper and stick them on. The first thing we are going to do is pour a layer of resin into our box. We are using Art Resin for this pour because we need the longer working time to drop in our layers of alcohol ink. We poured about half of the resin on and we're going to torch that layer just to make sure all the bubbles pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna pour the rest of the resin on. Now that we got our resin layer ready to go, we're going to drop pinata alcohol inks onto the surface. To achieve this technique, you need to use alcohol inks because of how they move in the resin. You can manipulate the resin and alcohol ink with a tool, like a paper clip, while it's still wet to alter the design. You can kind of dig into the wet layers of resin to give you more dimension. Let's keep dropping in different colors and then white ink on top of those. Adding white seems to be what makes the colors drop down in the layers of resin. Yeah, heavier pigments will drop further down than the lighter ones. Mm -hmm. mm. You are going nuts. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do pink in the very center so it okay. looks like another color? Like magenta? Yeah. See, these ones are just blue there now. There's mm -hmm. no white. Should I put white in the middle? Yeah. I can see the light again. Generally speaking, you will have about 45 minutes to work with the resin, and it will take 72 hours for your Petri to fully cure. Now that you know some fun and interesting ways you can incorporate resin into your artwork, you are ready to explore and create some resin art of your own. I'm Camille. And I'm Erin from Opus Art Supplies. Thanks for watching.